everyone I hope you're having an awesome day today so I just want to get on here and I want to talk about what the devil meant for bad God meant for good right see when you this is how I feel this this is this, this is what I feel I feel like this is how you know you are blessed I remember when I work was working security and um I will never forget my major at the time. This was years ago, years ago, that he said that I impressed him by being 100% dependable, which I am, and 100% flexible and dedicated until I started calling off every Sunday for church. Like, church is nothing. Like, church is, is nothing, basically nothing. And I remember I had God's Promises book. I always carry that book everywhere that I go. Um, and I just so happened to flip the page, literally by my thumb, just open it up. And it was a scripture in there and say that if you get offended by serving me, you are blessed. And when I read it, it just, like my eyes just awakened. So... I kid you not, I went back to that same book and I went from page to page to page to page trying to go back to find that scripture and I can't find it. Or at least it was a pat, it was a, the way how it was, it was a scripture and then it was also like a message. Um, but I can't find it. It's nowhere in the book. So I feel like it was nobody but God and brought me to that passage at that right moment at the right time for me to see and say so when bad things happen to you you go through trials and tribulations god got you he have you he got you covered he's going to bless you in the midst of your storm in the midst of it you have favor on your life this is why it's so important to put all your trust and faith in him all your trust and faith in him he got you so it doesn't matter what this person do to you. It doesn't matter what this situation is. He got you. He got you. And he's going to see you through. It doesn't even matter how many haters that's, that's, that's upon you want to see you fail. Want to see you fail. They don't want to see you win. They want to see you fail. But guess what? God got you. It doesn't matter what the enemy want to Put all your flaws down. We all have flaws. We all human. But there's room for improvement. That's why I say there is no, there's lessons to be learned. But there's no losers. Let's make adjustments. There's no, you know, truth be told, there are some mistakes. But let's make some adjustments. There's rooms for improvement. Just like when I do my interviews for my candidates. And I'll say, what is your greatest strengths? What is your greatest weaknesses? Well, we won't say this is weakness. This is always room for improvement. Because every time that we open our eyes, that's another chance for us to step forward and move forward and just just do better than we we did the the previous day or let alone the previous minute. So God is awesome. He is awesome. Life happens to you, but as but long as you stay in your vortex, and long as you keep your faith in Him and trust and believe that He got you, He got you. Do you know that for these past couple of months that the devil has been on my back, but at the same time, I've been getting overflowing blessings because I know that God got me. He got me. It's like if, oh, if I can't get her this way, I'm going to get her this way. If I can't get her that way, I'm going to get her that way. Oh, I can't get her. It's like no matter where I'm at, he try to get me and try to take me there and try to take me back to my old ways. And people are bound to push buttons, but only if you allow it. And I'm not going to lie to you. At one point, I did get a little upset at myself because it's like a person can only take so much. But at the same time, I prayed to God 
I pray to him and I say, thank you, Lord. So that's my, that's my revelation. That's my response. Anytime that someone is going to do something bad to me or negative to me to try to hurt me, to try to take my shine away, I'm staying in my vortex. You good, boo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The boss getting on you. You not doing this. You not doing that. Thank you, Lord. That's my response. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So I 100% stay in my voice. So we basically got cut off. <laughs> but well, this is part two of what the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. So this is why it's so important to stay in your vortex. So important to stay in your vortex. Um, you continue to do you, continue to put all your trust in God, put give all your battles to him, allow him to have his way, um, continue on praising him, praise him in advance, y'all, praise him in advance, because I kid you not, there is a blessing upon your life, especially if you have favor, you have favor. You have favor. You can't put your focus on mankind because people are bound to disappoint you, y'all. They are bound to disappoint you. That's why you have to have 100% trust and faith in God. In God. And affirmations. You want to always think positive. I say this all the time. You want to always have a positive mindset. That's a different topic. But when the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. The devil meant for bad. God meant for good. You have to take it to how you want to take it. Live your life to the fullest. Live on purpose. Put all your trust in him. All your trust in him. He got you. He got you. He got you. I'm telling you, you are covered in his blood. God is amazing. He is showing me so many things in my eyes so I can see clearly, regardless if it's physically, emotionally, most of all spiritually. I have learned a whole lot and I'm still learning. And I'm still learning. Put your trust in him. Step out on faith. When you praying, we always say more prayer, more power, less prayer, less power, no prayer, no power. When you've been praying for something for so long, God is going to present it to you. But sometimes we get so scared that we not seeing that that is our blessing. So it bypass you. So it bypass you and you don't want it to bypass. But rest assured, even though that you may miss that route the first time, what's for you is for you. It's going to come back around. And he's going to bless you abundantly. Because it's yours. All you got to do is have faith. Put your trust in him. Put your trust in God. He got you. So when you're going through your trials and tribulations, you have that pretty smile on your face. And you keep it moving. I know it's easier said than done. But just practice it. Just practice it. Because. That's how you know. That. You're on the right track. When there's so many. Stumbling blocks in your pathway. When the devil is on your back. Because he don't want you to win. He don't want you to soar. He doesn't want you to get close to God. He don't want you to walk in your purpose. He don't want that. He don't want to see you great. <laughs> you can't be great. <laughs> so we as people, as God's children, we have to stay in our lane, stay in our focus and allow God to just carry us through. Allow him to guide us through it. Because he's not going to forsake us. He's not going to leave us alone. He's not. He got us. All we can do is just keep it moving. 
keep it moving. I am the light that shines in the midst of all darkness. And granted, yeah, we may fall, but just like the song says, hey, we can stand up right on in. Stand back up again and keep it moving. So keep that in mind. What the devil meant for bad, God meant for good. No weapon forms against you shall prosper. You have favor on your life. And your belief is far and beyond. Live your life on purpose. And continue to let your light shine. Because honey, trust and believe. I'm going to let my light shine regardless. <laughs> regardless. Thank you for taking the time out to allowing the spirit speak through me. I really appreciate that. May all of you be blessed. Have a peaceful, prosperous, powerful, prayerful day.